Welcome to Maven 101. In this tutorial, I want to start the course by just reviewing the objectives of Maven. You may be wondering, what are they? What are the objectives? Well, to be honest, it's pretty straightforward, really. It's to make the developer's life easier and to help with understanding a project. But how does it do that? Firstly, Maven tries to make the build process easy. Maven provides a lot of shielding from the underlying detail of the build process. And it really tries to address two aspects of software building. The first one is it describes how the software itself is built. And secondly, it describes the dependencies the software actually has. For example, component A may depend on components D and E for it to run. Unlike other build tools, such as Ant, Maven isn't script based. A Maven project is described by an object model. What I mean by that is that there's a model that describes all the components held within the project itself. And this has been given the name of POM, or Project Object Model. A Maven project will always contain a POM, and currently it's represented as XML. The POM.XML file is a single configuration file that contains a majority of information required to build that particular project. On some projects, the POM can become very large, but there are a number of techniques we can apply to the configuration held within the POM, allowing that to be reused. These techniques are similar to the ones we deploy in Java, such as inheritance and aggregation. These are really key in reducing the size of the POM, and I'll spend quite a lot of time later showing you these key techniques of how to actually do this. We will also be spending quite a lot of time looking inside the POM and working out the configuration of the POM and how to set it up. The second way Maven makes life for a developer more easy is that it provides a uniform build system. Maven suggests a standard way to build a project. This is done by suggesting a build life cycle. And the build life cycle is made up of a number of phases. Once you familiarise yourself with the build cycles and the phases, you will automatically know the build process for every other Maven project. Maven provides great information about your project. It can provide you a list of all the dependencies for your project, unit test reports and coverage, integration test reports. All these are key pieces of information for any large scale project. Maven provides easy migration to new features Maven is really just a core framework for a collection of components or plugins. Plugins are where much of the real action is performed. They're used to create Java files, compile code, unit test code, and many more things. Almost any action you can think of being performed on a project is implemented as a Maven plugin. I guess you can think of a plugin as a jar file, as they're typically written in Java and downloaded by Maven from its central repository. And they are then stored on your local hard drive in a local cache, which in Maven terms is called a local repository. This technique of using components, or in Maven speak, plugins, makes it very easy to update Maven with newer versions as they become released. Maven only ever installs what it actually needs at this point, I need to emphasise you will need internet access, as Maven needs it to contact its central repository. This is known as Maven Central. When you run Maven for the first time, you'll notice it's downloading an awful lot of stuff. Well, that stuff are the plugins that Maven needs to run. You'll especially notice this the first time you run a build. But once downloaded, the cache versions of the plugin will be used and performance is greatly improved. Lastly, Maven encourages best practice for project structure and building. Maven suggests a default project structure, which we'll look at in greater detail later. This structure is a default and can be changed, but it's strongly recommended to use it. On this course, I shall be using the default project structure and explaining it. Maven also provides a default build cycle. In this course, I show you the default build cycle and how to use it out the box, and also how to modify it through the configuration of the POM. So, in summary, 
Maven tries to shield us from the underlying build process and thereby making the build process easier. Maven also goes some way to providing a uniform building system by suggesting a predefined build life cycle. Maven provides timely information about your project all the way through the life cycle and has made it incredibly easy to migrate to new features as and when they're released. And lastly, Maven has gone some way in encouraging best practices 